Hello and welcome to this round of installment. Today we're going to be looking at the calendar and how to use it properly because there's a couple features that are driven by the calendar and if the calendar is not used properly they don't work either. So in this case we're on the OpenMR demo site and you can see that we have three providers here and you have the white background. The white background symbolizes that the providers in and out times have not been set in the system and when the in and out times have not been set then when you go to the appointment scheduler and click find available notice that this is blank they can't find any available appointments in the next seven day window so even if I change it to this and do this it's going to come up blank the same finder is also used in the patient portal so in order for patients to be able to know what's on your schedule when they go into the portal this needs to be filled out so let's go and see if we can fix this in order to schedule a patient or a doctor's in and out time it's as simple as clicking on the appointment go to provider notice I'm on the ah, provider is Lee Donna. I had to find the provider's name. Okay, so what you want to do is not set this for a, an extreme amount of time. So you're going to set the duration so 8 a.m. is in time. And no, the out time is set in the globals. We'll go take a look at that in a minute. So we're going to call this an all day event and we're going to repeat. And you can either repeat it by setting it by one of these every day or every work day so you have a different combinations you can use but for most people if you just set it to let's say the days of the week that the provider is going to be working and of course you can chop this up any way you need to for this demonstration purposes I'm just going to pick Monday through Friday and that we're off Saturday and Sunday so I'm going to go ahead and oh and I have to put a duration till and the recommended is to set it at least two years out from the current date that you're on. So two years out, and yes, in two years, who knows. And if you want to set a preferred category for the provider, you can. Most don't. And so let's go ahead and save this. Now if you notice, the background of the calendar turns blue. Now, for Billy Smith, let's say he doesn't come in until 9 a.m. So I'm going to select the 9 a.m. select provider and if you notice I'm selecting Billy Smith and I'm going to repeat the same process again as for 9 a.m. starting today and I'm going to uh, let's do this one every workday so depending on how you set the workdays on the calendar this will be defaulted to that and I'm going to do the same thing here and set it two years out from the current date again just recommendation so I'm gonna go ahead and save this now uh, I'll do Fred Flintstone, well I said Flintstone but anyway uh, I'm gonna set him for 830 and these are as you can see just repetitive tasks that you do and he only is gonna work on Monday and Tuesday he's not gonna work any other days but those and so let's go save. Uh oh, something didn't work right. Oh, I forgot to set a duration. So therefore it won't do anything because I didn't set a duration or an until time. So let's try that again. Every work day. Yes, I did. I set every work day and I set it two years out. End of the day. Oh, I'm on. I forgot to select provider. That's what it was. So, little things like that can trip you up. So, it's an all day event. We're going to repeat and we're going to do every work day and set it two years out. No need to edit that out because people. Hmm. My schedule's not popping in. Let's try that again. 
There we go. And then let's see. There we go. Now you notice Billy Smith is not working today because today is Wednesday. So that's why his is white. Remember that. All right, so now if I were to go and click here and then click on Find Available, you'll notice that I have these available dates. So the blue is morning, the red is afternoon. As you can see, you have a.m. and p.m. here. And therefore, as of course the calendar gets filled up, those dates and times will be taken off of this finder here. And even if I go, let's see, and let's say next week and say search, there we go. It shows available times that will be on the calendar for that particular time period. And again, now patients, when they go into the patient portal, will be able to see what times are, are available on your calendar. I know that some don't like that because they don't want patients to know what's on their calendar. It's a preference thing. All right. Thank you all for watching.